Hey, Bob. What? What did one ghoul say to the other ghoul? I don't know. I got wood. <laughs> <laughs> Warcraft 3. Watch it, learn it, love it. Hello and welcome. This is Sir Pierre, and this is a Warcraft 3 commentary. For Zotac number 261 finals between Seshi spawning as the yellow one dead in the bottom side of the map, getting a Death Knight first versus <gasps> Reprisal spawning as the red human in the upper top of the top part of the map, getting a Archmage first, going with that barracks opening. Pretty standard, uh, pretty standard. Indeed, yes, you can see there's none of the WTV working again. There are some serious WTV issues this Zotac. Um, Hardly any of the games were streamed. It was it was frustrating because there were some more games that I wanted to watch that I just didn't get to watch because I didn't I was unable to actually get to the live games. Um, and so later on in the day, I was like, well, I'll pull up the WTV for the games that I didn't get to see that I want to watch um, that weren't uploaded and they weren't uploaded and they weren't streamed and uh, it's just it's just it's a, it's a mess. It's a mess is what it is. But uh, we do have these two ghouls. Uh, this is a Ted Fiends build. I'm not sure why I'm talking about these two ghouls, but you know they're gonna they're gonna chill. That's what they do. That's what ghouls do. Uh, here comes that scout footman. Attack. The Nubian Tower, of course, already up. Uh, we've already talked about that numerous times, but of course you got to do that. Otherwise, the scout footman will come in here and kill an acolyte and laugh at you as you desperately try to stop him from killing it with your ghouls. But it just won't happen most of the time because uh, the ghouls don't do enough damage to that footman because he has 420 life. Um, as you can see, 420 life. Now that was probably not intentional. Okay. If you know anyone from Blizzard, <laughs> yeah, that was probably intentional, right? The Footman 420, ha, <laughs> 420, uh, okay, whatever. Anyway, so um, we do see a, the Death Knight actually being blocked by the Footman right here, and just yeah, take a little bit of damage, but the Death Knight really not scared of this damage. He's like, I, I'm a strength hero, and I'm on a horse, and I'm dead, so you can't scare me. Uh, anyway, so we're gonna see now reprisal being very aggressive right here. I'm not sure why he's being so aggressive, but he's very aggressive right now, uh, chasing Seshi around, and looks like he's probably, yes, indeed, going for an expansion Players again, so I guess he just doesn't attack. want uh, this undead to do whatever he wants. And here we're going to see a footman coming out, or a fiend coming out, so we're going to see where it looks like this Ziggurat is actually going to be a little bit late while he runs around with this... Uh, his, uh, his death knight there. As you can see, he's going to be supply capped now. And there we go. So, yeah, it's a little bit late on that. I mean, he would be supply capped anyway. Uh, but as you can see, now just throwing down two ziggurats. Uh, normally, you can get the one much faster out. And so now, later on, when he has 215 gold, he's not going to be able to make another fiend. That's unfortunate, but that's life. Now, I say it's late. Um... I, there's there's like so many different ways you can do this. I I don't know all of them by heart. Maybe it works out fine. I I have no idea. We'll find out. Looks like uh, it doesn't though. I mean, it's 300 gold. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to be like. I don't want to say this is bad if it's not. If I'm just ignorant of it. But it does look like this is mistimed. But anyway, um, we're gonna see Seshi running in here. An item being picked up. A mantle of intelligence plus three for that archmage. Oh yes, archmage. You have a mantle. And okay, anyway, so uh, you can see, I, I don't know. We can see this is a quite a bit of units here for this one fiend and death knight to take on with a couple of skeletons. I think he might have got the experience right there. It looked like he did. I don't know. I should have been watching. Uh, I was I was just overwhelmed by the sheer number of units. I was like, geez. Okay, we're going to see. Oh, is this peasant going to go down? Hopefully, we'll see two more peasants go down to these skeletons. It's very, very possible. Indeed, one skeleton go, one peasant goes down. However, it was to the Ogre Magi, not to the skeletons. So there's that. Um, the Death Knight taking a ton of damage. Not a huge issue. Of course, there are two healing fountains on this map. Uh, oops. Oh, the Archmage did get the experience of that. And it's going to go ahead and pick up another Boots of Speed. So now he is going to be able to sell that for what, 125 gold, I think. So that's, that's nice. That's very nice. Uh, here comes the expansion going up right there. And here is Reprisal getting that Lich out as well as his second Fiend. Third Fiend? Second Fiend? Third Fiend. Third Fiend. There's that first Fiend. There's the second and there's the third. Uh, here comes that Slaughterhouse. And, of course, still at the three ghouls. Forces are under attack. Oh, ghouls. Ghouls. Gwells. Okay, no. Anyway, so... We have this Death Knight, of course, healing up a little bit at that fountain. The Archmage knowing that was coming. Uh, so once he dealt with those skeletons, he was like, I'm going to go get that Death Knight. And uh, Death Knight coiling one of these militia now, chasing that militia down with these peasants, or skeletons, I mean. And will he get it? It's a very real possibility. I think he will, because look at that. It's going to wear out fairly soon. And when it does, 
uh, that those skeletons are going to catch up. And the question is, however, does he make it to that town hall in time? Because that's a possibility. It looks like, no, that's not going to happen. And down goes Mr. Miss, Mr. Mr. Peasant guy, militia dude. Under siege. Yeah. Anyway, so here's the Archmage at level 2, about to hit level 3. He's probably going to creep something uh, with his footman or something. Just a green look like that. Just cre creep this out and you'll be fine. You'll get level 3 on your Archmage. You can do some nice rafts. While he does that, he can go ahead and sell his uh, his boots of speed. He killed something because his experience went up to nine to 499. I don't know what it was. Maybe it was the skeletons in the base over here. That's a possibility. Maybe trying to kill that thing right there. Right, here is the level 3 now. On to this Archmage. He's trying to chase down that Death Knight. That's not going to work. Coil over going off into the Archmage. Going to force a TP maybe? <gasps> no! With the two boots of speed. Of course, they don't actually stack. But, but one for each foot? Eh, no, it doesn't work that way. Um, You only get one. That's actually a pair of boots. It says boots of speed. That, that S means plural boots. Like multiple boots. Like a anyway, so um, I, this I don't know, but uh, anyway, I'm gonna see that lich coming down this way. Will he get the snipe off? Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man! It's not gonna kill him with the nova, but the, oh, he might. Oh, sorry about that. That was a little loud. Um, they did get the coil, and as he was casting the nova, as he was casting the lich's arms raised up in a glorious f motion of magicka to cast the nova spell, and uh. The, the dark mage was like, nah, man. And he was town portaling already. He was like reading that scroll super fast. And actually, in Warcraft 3, you may not have known this, but in the Warcraft 3 universe, there's a unspoken rule, 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 yes, indeed, uh, that if you're reading a, t a, t a, you know, a scroll of any sort, really, you can't, you can't be attacked. That's just, that's just how it is. I'm going to see that creep being woken up by the lich. Uh, going to nicely go ahead and force that archmage to run away now the archmage does not have um a healing potion so he might go down right here is there's almost oh, enough mana for a coil one more one more man he has the mana for the coil but the archmage got away with his boots of speed his booties booties of speed yes indeed uh here we see several footmen out on this map lots of towers going up a blacksmith arcane vault uh, some farms we do have a statue out on the map now as well these are defended footmen they're trying to get some surrounds off right here is it gonna happen no especially like i don't think so reprisal get your midi surrounds off of me Pauls, man and yeah, I, I don't know uh, but here we do see reprisal with only one, only one Please guard tower up here and three attack. scout towers versus all of these. If only Seshi knew, if only Seshi knew. But over here we're going to see him now teching for tier three, not doing a wagon push this game. It looks like wagon push is not as much fun on this map usually, but uh, you can do them. You can do them definitely, definitely, definitely. Uh, but they're not as much fun. It has nothing to do with the effectiveness of it. He's just, he's like, I've done it two games in a row. And you know what's more fun than a wagon push is a tier three army hero look i don't know i'm, I'm making this stuff up because i really i don't know what he, why why he would choose to do one other thing or the other but i do know he's level one on that death knight and now it's time to creep it's time to get level three if you can't three three would be awesome uh there are two reds on this map that he can creep as well as this red right here if you know what i'm saying I just creeped out reprise a little bit oh i think i could um uh, let's pretend i didn't say that so <laughs> Let's just let's just pretend. Um, so we do see reprisal now pulling this creep right here. We're gonna see this Death Knight chilling out, maybe trying to get some steals off. Will he will, will he be able to? We'll watch his experience bar. Um, uh, will he do it? I don't know. I don't know. 172. Nope, didn't get that one. Did not get. It looked like he got it, but not not quite fast enough. Uh, gonna get a your footman right there. Indeed. Look at that. There it is. Ooh, and the lich almost getting surrounded there, narrowly avoiding it like a like a lich should. Um, indeed. And they're going to see a footman going down level 2 on the death knight. Now being picked up, finish off this water elemental, get a bit of experience. Uh, kill the footman maybe that's ensnared. No, go for the water elemental. He's going for your statue. That's right. That's a transgression that can't be allowed to, to, to live. So you got to kill this archmage as well. He's doing the same thing, uh, going ahead and doing a lot of damage to it. Is he actually going to be able to kill it this time? He might be able to. Uh, it's going to be really close. He doesn't have enough mana for a coil, so it's probably going to be fine. But he could split his army up. He could split half of it this way, half of it this way, and the other half this way. Oh, that's like three halves. Oh, the Archmage. As I said, it was a transgression that should not be allowed to pass, and it wasn't. The, the Archmage agreed. It was like, you know what? You're right. I should not have targeted that, that statue. I will go kill myself. A player's that is um, are under attack. <laughs> that's the only way to forgive my my sins to have them forgiven and uh that's true it's true at least that archmage won't be in hell when he you know 
when he actually dies one day. Because a suicide in this game is, it's not really, it's more like a nap. It's not, it's not as bad. It's like taking a sleeping pill or something. I don't know. Look, the point is, right, level two on this death knight, creeping out this shop. Tome of Agility, a uh, potion of greater healing. That's a nice item to get. Now, is he going to pick up a potion of invulnerability? No, he's attack. not. He's just going to walk away without it. And here comes the third hero. It is a Dreadlord. Oh, yeah. I love Dreadlord. Uh, has Rod of Necromancy, Orb of Corruption, and he's going to pull his red. So, he actually could very easily win this game at this point. He's in a pretty decent spot. I know it didn't have the greatest luck really stopping this expansion, but uh, we're going to actually see a Castle Tech coming in from Reprisal this time. Interesting. But if he gets the right hero levels, if he gets both the reds on this map, uh, as you can see, I think he crept this orange out. It's just a mini map bug. Yeah, because there's that, that tiny little creep left. It's like, oh, that's still the orange. Um, no, which, I mean, it's fair enough, right? But, uh... It's good. It's good. That's not really. I guess it's not really a bug, but uh, whatever. Like whatever. Um, I get a helm of valor, strength, and agility plus four to each. Oh yes, indeed. Very nice item to have. Maybe even pass that to the Dreadlord if it was me. But uh, I, I like to consider the Dreadlord my my blade master of the undead. Most people disagree because he doesn't do you know anywhere near that much damage. But uh, I just I think he I think he should be an agility hero. He looks like an agility hero to me. I feel like he should be an agility hero. Blizzard doesn't agree for whatever reason. You know, maybe one day they'll hire me on to their balance team and I'll be like, okay, the first thing we have to do is change the Dreadlord to agility. And they'll be like, wait, what? What Dreadlord? They'll be like, you know, Warcraft 3. They'll be like, that was like 30 years ago. I'm like, we're making a patch. And they'll be like, okay, all right, fine. You know, we'll deal with it. Uh, that's my, that's what happens in my fantasies when I go to sleep at night and dream of wonderful things. But anyway, we're going to see this Red Drake attacking to your footman. Uh, he's actually going to eventually kill himself on this if it lasts long enough. And <laughs> because of defend, it can occasionally reflect damage back. So that's actually really funny, as you can see. Um, so <laughs> it's it's really fun by reprisals that he's actually doing that. He's like, you know what? It's, it's fine because I know that my footman will live. He has two armor upgrades and he's gotten a fountain of health range. You can see his health not really going down there. Uh, whereas this red drake is out of the filling healing fountain range and he is going to eventually die uh looks like we're gonna have reprisal come in here and help finish it off he's like all right fine 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 Fumman. you know you've served your your thing he's like i've been taking these fucking hits for so long i can't take it anymore uh he's probably been drinking too drinking on the job that's it's not good but we're gonna see uh Sechi going ahead and pick up an expansion down here uh Nice, nicely done, nicely done. Teshi is not in a bad spot in this game. I'm picking up a crystal ball, probably gonna sell that. It's nice, but uh, yeah, you don't really need Players it. Did he go ahead and use it? Uh, he probably used it. I don't know where he would have, where he revealed to, but uh, maybe if we click on his vision fast enough, no. I don't. Maybe it was up here. I don't know. I'm sure he did go ahead and use that before he actually uh, sold it because you can sell it while it's on cooldown. No problem. And we're going to see here comes this army saying, wait a second. There's there's this stuff down here. I don't know what it is, but we're going to sleep the water elemental with the dreadlord. Very nicely done. Over here for Seshi. Uh, he's still he's just getting some some farms up. He's like 72 out of 72 food. I have triple. Oh, good lord. He has triple workshop. Okay. He's making a tank. Um. He's making a tank. I mean, what else can I say? We have two tanks. Oh, two tanks actually coming in here to Seshi's base. Seshi's going to need to deal with this some way or another. You got to get the meat wagon, maybe some frenzy goals. Those are a great way to deal with siege engines. Um, one meat wagon, two meat wagons, and some frenzy goals. That's really what you want whenever you have meat wagons in your base. And if only we knew that years ago, right? <laughs> right. I don't know how long ago siege tank was like every single game of human versus everything. But, uh... Back then, I mean, we knew to get you know goals, we knew to get meat wagons, but um, it was just different back then. The toms were different; they were different. Uh, I don't really know. I couldn't tell you. I mean, because I remember they'd bring like send like 30 tanks at once. I mean, it doesn't really matter what you have if they send in 30 tanks. Of course, now we would just do a wagon push on their base, and they'd never get to that point. So I mean, I mean, you know, that's that's the meta game shifting around and changing and doing different things that. You would never have believed and thought possible years ago. And, you know, now we're seeing things like the Lordok strategy, which is that Lordo's strategy with the Witch Doctors against the, those Talons. And, you know, I mean, soon we're going to be seeing the people massing Mountain Giants against Elf uh, in Air Elf Mirror because we saw that once with a Tinker and Moon versus, I think it was Remind. It was one of the, or maybe it was Sace or something. I don't know. Anyway, uh, not going to worry about that. Anyway, that Lich taking a ton of damage right here. We're going to get a Quill off, no problem. 
Uh, who's gonna win this fight? This actually is, I mean, it, I don't know. I mean, I definitely think Reprise is gonna lose this fight, I'll say, but uh, I don't know for sure. It's, it's, it's close. It's, it's definitely close. We see that Death Knight taking some damage there. Level 3, 2, 2 versus, oh, 3, oh, is he gonna be forced to TP? Oh, he gets holy lighted. He didn't get the TP off. Oh, that's not good. Okay, well, uh, now this is not good. Um, level 3, 3, 4, it's actually, ah, oh, if he just hadn't lost that hero, he probably would be in fine shape. Now he's not good. He can't get out of this fight as easily as he would like. There goes the Lich. Um, I'm just trying. Oh, is he going to lose this? Oh, don't lose the Dreadlord, too. You need to keep that alive. Oh, the bolt picks it off. Oh, man. That's. Well, I mean. I mean, you know, it happens, right? When you lose a Death Knight, and that's the guy who has the TP, it's it, it, it you can lose a game just like that sometimes, it, fairly often actually. It's it's a little disappointing, and that's depressing. I, I thought Seth would, I thought he would win. I thought he was gonna win this game, but uh, that's yeah, some siege tanks over here. That's 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 not good. That's unfortunate. That is really unfortunate. I mean, that is that is really unfortunate for Seshi. I mean. As you can see, he's, he even he's like, "Oh man, that sucks." But, uh, but I mean, overall, not they were entertaining games. The endings for the first one and this one, uh, oh, like, oh man, Seshi, oh man, you you ha oh, he's so close on those, so close. But I mean, this game again, I don't know if he would have won that one or not if he hadn't lost that Death Knight. But you know, sometimes you lose games like that. So, not just Undead every race, it happens to everybody. Every race, uh, just you know, just how it is. But uh, maybe it was an off day. Who knows? But anyway, so that is the best of five series um, for Reprisal versus Seshi for the Zotac number 261 final. So congratulations to Reprisal. Yes, that's my announcer voice. Um, indeed, don't. I, it's not much of an announcer voice. I know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I will see you guys next time. Yes, I'll see you guys next time.